What I really like about Southern Christian Home is the fact that the children that they serve are really the children in our state that are at risk and in the, have the greatest need. It's home. It is a home. I think they feel safe here, they know they're loved here, and they make good memories here. I think at times um, the days go by and you lay your head on your pillow and you don't know what you've accomplished, but here you made an impact in someone's life. We try really hard to give these kids every opportunity to succeed because they do come from places that um, they're broken and they don't have anyone in their corner. Many times the children who come here have absolutely no reason to trust any adult. The adults in their lives have been a disappointment. Southern Christian Home is a place where kids can come and be loved and shown grace and mercy and the love of Christ. When that child learns through house parents who consistently love them and consistently teach them, and they learn they can trust them, then the home has given that child a tool that will uh, benefit them for a lifetime. We're there to be a friend and a mentor and a Christian example to our kids to help them to grow to who they need to be. I used to substitute teach at high school, and so, you know, you work with kids on a daily basis and you try to help them grow academically, but it's so much more here. You know, you're, you're addressing um, and connecting with their needs on a much deeper level. They get good meals. The house moms are reading them bedtime stories at night before they put them to bed. The home uh, provides social services for them. There's counseling that's provided. Tutoring is available. Uh, mental health services, if that's necessary, is available. So there's another set, whole set of resources that the home provides. Through the grace that they're shown, they come to a place of often forgiveness of the people that maybe have hurt them in the past. And so they can come to a place where they are able to function and get good grades at school and just leave a happy, well-adjusted person. So when, it, when you show the love and respect to our kids and they start trusting people, that's what it's all about. Trust is a big issue in it. Yeah. Has that helped you develop trust with people by working with horses? It has. Say more about that. Um, when I first came here, I didn't feel like I could trust anyone. Okay. Um, and then I started working with Molly, and I felt like I could trust her, and I kind of opened up to my house parents okay. and to you guys. That's huge. You know, trust is so important in our lives. And, um, and it just made me feel great that our team had, had accomplished that. This work has been built on the efforts of generations of people. And the home has served the lives of children well throughout many years. Now it's time, it's time to provide for the future. The homes that your children live in are old and they need to be replaced. And so now is our opportunity to replace them with modern, well-designed facilities that will truly meet the needs of our current generation of children. The new cottages are gonna have a lot more space and so to be able to have that space that they can retreat to for a little bit, kind of regroup and then be able to come back out refreshed, if you will, will be a huge improvement. These kids in these new homes will have their own private bedrooms, their own bathrooms. They'll have a spacious living area, an open kitchen area that all blends together where it's really, truly a family environment. And so these kids are really gonna benefit from having not just a new house, but really well-designed home. You can't separate the physical from the spiritual. And so uh, while we want them uh, to be like Christ, we want them to be like Christ and also be people who can live very happily and successfully in the world. Our goal is to help 
the whole kid, not just, it's not enough just to look after them. You know, we want to help them and, and help them grow in every way possible. It's just great to see young people who don't even believe in God. And when they, uh, before they leave, uh, to respond to Christ Jesus. It's heartwarming, it really is. You see the difference that love and that Christ can make in the lives of the children. You know, they need someone to protect them and someone to care for them and someone to, to love them. And to be able to do that, I can't imagine there being anything more rewarding. I'm here because I think this is what God would want me to do. When you see them happy and smiling, that means we're doing something right. By people investing in us, they can come and see, you know, how much difference they're making in the kids' lives. I believe that if people understand, they can use their resources, and their resources will be multiplied far beyond their imagination because God sees this as a need. And if that's a priority with Him, then it needs to be a priority with me. Who more than a child who comes out of an abusive relationship deserves a place that will help them truly get back on their feet? This is what we do. This is the opportunity that we have to provide this kind of facility and to provide this kind of environment that changes lives.